ready? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, round a bound, round a bound, round a bound. Hello, everybody. Good day, mate. Uh, this is Phil from the comic book. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is uh, well, welcome to the comic book, right. guys. <laughs> I was gonna try to, I was gonna try to do it, you know, try to act like I was uh, Phil there for a second, but I didn't want my Australian accent to be so offensive. So I was like, you know what? We should probably end this before yeah, something bad happens. You weren't as good but, as looking as me. Yeah, you got. I'll give that one to you. I'll give yeah, that no, one to you. Thank you. Anyways. Everybody, welcome to the comic book guys with Hayden and Phil. Phil, how are you doing today? Yeah, good, mate. Um, you know, I was actually quite impressed with your Australian accent, man. I think you just got to practice a little bit more and have a little bit more authority. And I'll more authority. Put, yeah, and then I'll believe it. Okay. Uh, good day, mate. I'm angry. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, just um, you, you, you'll get there. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm the, I, I feel like I have a better accent than you, but I'm just saying, I don't know, but we'll leave it there. But anyways, so, uh, no, well, well how yeah. about this? The people that comment <laughs> at the end of this video or during the video, I want you to comment who has the best Australian accent. Yeah. Me or Hayden. Just, yeah. I want you to answer Hayden and whoever answers Hayden gets the, the, the real MVP. <laughs> well, no, that's just fake. That's just wrong. Last no, time you, you gave me the real MVP, I literally just was left in the dark, mate. I mean, I I think it, it must have got lost in shipping. I don't know, but you know, if you I take mean, Hayden's MVP, <laughs> you'll be as successful as Hayden's modeling career. You know, Phil, I think we're getting <laughs> off topic here. Okay, I think we're getting off topic here. I actually had to retire so early because my future was so bright. Okay, so I didn't want to go blind. But anyways, I think we're getting off topic here. But uh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> at the time of recording this, <laughs> at the time of recording this, um, uh, it's getting close to Christmas. Uh, are you a fan of Christmas, Phil? Are you a Christmas guy? I well, before uh, asking how how are you going, because she asked me how I was going. So how are you? Yeah, I know. I journaled about it. I was like, I know I asked Phil and he didn't ask me. So I had to journal about it, but I appreciate it. So, but uh, no, Love I'm doing, it. doing, <laughs> uh, I'm doing, doing good. I'm uh, just kind of chilling. It's actually, uh, I've been sick for the last couple of days. So I'm getting over like a sore throat. I'm feeling a lot better. I've been taking some zinc and elderberry. So I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about myself, but uh, yeah, no, nice. I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, yeah, but so with Christmas season coming in, I thought we could just as a quick little icebreaker, quick little start me up, Ooh. if you will. Yeah. Oh. I was thinking we could start off by talking about what's your favorite Christmas movie of all time, Phil? Well, I would like to hit it off. Um, I really enjoyed Fred Claus, man. Have you seen Fred Claus? With, Fred um, Claus. With Vince Vaughn. Oh, a long time ago. I, I love that movie so much. It is, it's got everything. It's so funny. And um, one of the scenes in the movie, um, he just goes to this rehab kind of counseling place. It's sit like, you know how these people sit in a circle and talk about their problems and stuff? Yeah. So um, he sits in a circle with all these people, all the who are actually related to famous people. So you got Sylvester Stallone's brother, you got Bill Clinton's brother, but all the brothers. And they just literally sit down and go, you know, my brother's more successful than me, you know? And then it, it was just so funny. It's just, uh, it was so well done. I I honestly, I think once a year, I actually watched that. Um, and with my family, we you know, we watched The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Yeah. And what was the other one? Alf with Will yeah. Farrell. Um, or like every time on Christmas without fail. But um, I would say Fred Claus because Vince Vaughn, I love Vince Vaughn, but I can't watch all of his movies. He's literally the same, but one movie that I can tolerate him in is Fred Claus. Love it. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I I don't think I've seen that since a long time ago, so I don't even remember it. But the, no, those are all great picks. Um, I would say mine would probably be the Santa yeah. Claus with Tim Allen. I think Tim Allen is good, probably good one. Yeah, I think that's like the most classic Christmas movie. Like I used to 
watch that as a kid like every year and i mean obviously like yeah. christmas vacation national lampoons that's a great one but i would I, say i love Chris, christmas vacation i actually slipped out of my mind see it's great but i but it's like i almost put it on like a default like of course it's you know like of course so it's one of those things when you're like you you're like yeah of course we're gonna include it but what about uh, other than that well you know what's funny talking about christmas vacation very quickly i have a family um friend in our family um what's it um his name's eddie oh eddie remember. yeah eddie <laughs> Anilo. um you know the um in the movie um where you know he has the um the older relatives that come yeah um <laughs> you know the guy that had the bald head and that burnt the tree it was an ugly tree anyway um yeah what was his name um what was his name um I don't know if I remember. Yeah, you know anywhere. that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a family friend who actually looks like him. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm trying to find his name. Uncle Lewis. Um, Uncle, Uncle Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Uncle Lewis um, lit up his cigar and burnt down the tree and said, oh, whoop, sorry, bro. Come on, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know how he was lit up the cigar and he goes, it was an ugly tree anyway. We have a family friend that, kid you not, looks like him. Whenever all my brothers are around and when we walk out, we go, it's Uncle Lewis. <laughs> Dude. And I kid you not, the guy wears a wig. That's um, mind blown. Man. I mean, it's so maybe funny. it is Uncle Lewis, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. I think my favorite part of that movie is when, uh, I forget her name, but like the really old grandma, they asked her to say grace and she starts <laughs> uh, doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Or well, whatever, say like, grace, grace, she passed grace. away years ago. <laughs> yeah. grace, grace, she passed away years ago. No, they want you to say grace. <laughs> I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag. I know it's so good. Or like when he cuts the turkey and it like opens up because it's so dry and it all like falls apart. Ah, oh, that movie is so good. So I would say that's probably my all time. But right next to that would be, um, the Santa Claus, the first one with Tim Allen. I'm not a fan of the third one. Third one's not great, but the first and second are good. But uh, yeah, well, I one reason why I can tolerate watching the third one is that I'm a big Martin Short fan. Okay. Um, like, um, I really enjoyed him in the Three Amigos with um, Steve yeah. Martin, Chevy Chase, and uh, it, it was just well done. I love that movie. I I can watch that movie over and over. Talking about like a good comedy, I highly suggest to watch it. It is just well. You hear done. that, people? You hear that? Go watch Three Amigos. Also, Three Amigos. If you're into more kind of like adult christmas in the sense of like more like drama mm. but still like humor and stuff um el camino christmas with tim allen dak shepherd um a lot of jessica alba a lot of people are in it but it all takes place in um like a desert town in a gas station in like a standoff Ooh. but it's really good and i would say like it has like a very christmas message by the end of it but i highly recommend that one if you're into more um kind of serious which brings me to the next question that i'd like to ask Ooh. you my good sir phil my good mike Absolutely. phil <laughs> uh good time might go put a shrimp on the barbie throw an angry aussie at the kind no okay. no one <laughs> ever puts a shrimp on the barbie just so you know well, you guys no should. One. you well you should <laughs> we had i so this is a short segue i had a friend on xbox named lachlan from australia but we used to uh make fun of him all the time because he would always talk about he was from australia so we'd ask him like we acted mm -hmm. like we had no idea what was going on in australia so we're like do you guys have like microwaves in australia and he would get so mad and he would start screaming at us and you could hear over the mic but like, <laughs> and he would get so mad but <laughs> yeah oh lachlan so sometimes um what do you call it when i used to play rocket league i would join a um group and i would just put on this, like some accents and i'll when i hear a british guy i'm like oh so uh you know you're you're from england oh are you british too and i'll be, no i'm actually from wales so you know we really enjoy um prince charles you, you know and <laughs> you know uh, yeah you know that's the only part that i can get right so you know i 
oh, I really like Prince Charles. And Prince Charles. They go, they go, you're you're not British. I'm like, now that's an insult. That's a plain insult, you know. Um, or I'll just um just play and just keep talking about um uh, just the most random things just to annoy people. It's so fun when you play a game. And then you hear people yell or get angry, especially yeah. in a prank call. You're like, you ring up a pizza shop or something. When, like, I used to do prank calls when I was younger. You call up and you're like, just be funny. And then they're yelling at you, but they're still on the phone for like a minute, still yelling. And then you're laughing going, they're still on the phone. See, yeah, dude. I mean, see, I, I prefer to take the approach that you join random games and you talk like Daniel Day-Lewis from There Will Be Blood. And you're like, see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an oil man. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. No, but anyway. <laughs> Gaming. Now, well, I want to encourage the people who's watching, tell us uh, what is the funniest thing you've done within a prank call or even, um, well, the first things first, we do not contone. No, we do don't. not condone prank calls. Also, Thank if you, you do it, don't be stupid like I was when I was a kid. And you, you, like, we forgot to do the star thing or whatever. So the person <laughs> called back and they called my grandma. And next thing you know, my grandma comes in like at midnight and just is ready to beat my cousin and I. <laughs> He's so stupid. So, but we do not um, condone prank calling. Don't do it. But, but yeah, yeah. We're not saying don't do it. But if you do, don't try it at We're home. saying don't do it. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't try it. <laughs> We're, well, we, anyway. are, we are 100% saying don't do it but yeah this, this is a family friendly second. program yes we do not condone um uh nonsense or um tomfoolery or uh shenanigans or okay uh, well if... i stop there um if you're saying all that i just want to let you know you're fired then ah <laughs> dang it what a bunch of tomfoolery okay anyway yeah, so yeah, we yeah. gotta move it Go, on going to back question. on topic we're going to try to, the, so uh, I just thought, you know, like I was just sitting staring at the wall and just saying, you know what, let's, uh, let's try to get some serious stuff. So yeah, man, I'm just saying, but anyway, awesome chatting to you guys. And Hey, Hayden, you killed it with our hosting today, man. Well, thank you. I, uh, I don't need the pity, but I appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's all cool. I would, I guess, like I would give it a generous seven out of 10. So no, good on you, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Well, I'm gonna. Um, uh, now you did. And, you, uh, now you did good. really well, man. Now you did really well. So thank you for watching. Take care, guys. See you guys. Woo.